Alfred Binet. Alfred Binet, born on July 8, 1857, and died on October 18, 1911, was a French psychologist who is best remembered for his role in developing the first concepts of an intelligence test. His goal was to encourage the early identification of students who might need extra help in school. Binet's father was a physician and Binet originally intended to follow in his father's footsteps. In medical school, his discovery of an interest in psychology changed the course of his career. Binet's early work was with memory, in which he studied master chess players by having them play the game blindfolded. He found that some of them could envision the board in their heads as they played, meaning they had developed a system for remembering the layout. Binet also discovered that some of the chess players could easily play several different games simultaneously, meaning they had the capacity to shift from one board to the other without missing any information. This study of mnemonics and chess was first published in Binet's book. Binet went on to become the director of the Laboratory of Experimental Psychology at the Sorbonne, where he led important research often basing his ideas of previous theories that he then expanded. Binet worked at uncovering a deeper understanding of the principles of hypnosis, but abandoned that research when the medical community failed to give any credence to the field. Following changes to the law at the end of the 19th century that made education mandatory in France for all children, Binet embarked on work that would help determine which students would struggle in education and which ones would succeed. His appointment to a committee that oversaw the beginning of special education meant that he and his colleagues developed an early guidelines for testing and educating the mentally handicapped. Along with a doctoral student he supervised, Theodore Simon, he developed the Binet Simon Intelligence Test. He published his ideas on distinguishing normal children from abnormal children and his ideas on how best to educate these so-called abnormal children in his book. Binet held other comedy positions on intelligence research and education and founded the French Journal of Psychology. Binet was very open about how limited his Binet Simon intelligence test was due to the wide numbers of variables involved in measuring human intelligence. A US-based psychologist, H. H. Goddard, saw the potential for Binet's test and set about creating a large pool study in order to create a set of standards for it. This work resulted in the creation of the Stanford Binet IQ test, which is still in use today.